Now, there does appear to be a little of a little bit of confusion in the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy over a motion to censure Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Olelenku. Kisumu Central Member of Parliament Ken Obura filed a notice for the motion this morning before court officials retracted the censure motion in a press in a press briefing later on. However, the ODM MP now says that the censure motion will be debated in Parliament next week. Ben Kitsili reports on the pressure to remove Olelenku from the Cabinet as the security puzzle in Lamu remains unresolved. Interior Secretary Joseph Olelenku's job has been on the line for long, but especially since the Mpeketoni attacks last week. And on Wednesday, Olelenko's fiercest critics court finally tabled a notice of motion to censure the Interior Secretary. Kisumu Central MP Ken Oburo gave the notice of motion over insecurity wanted the issue to be discussed as soon as Thursday afternoon. However, Deputy Speaker Joyce Laboso referred him to the House Business Committee. But in an unexpected turn of events, just hours later, court announced the withdrawal of the censure motion. A meeting chaired by court co-principals Waila Odinga and Moses Wetangula announced the decision. On reflection and wide consultations, we believe that Olelenku is just but a small functionary in a rotten system. And to go for him, we'll be misapplying our energy and our brain. We want to deal with the bigger issue. Matters would get even more confusing later in the afternoon when the Kisumu Central MP insisted that the debate on the motion will go ahead. I was able to give the notice of motion, of course, on the floor of the House this morning. So the matter is coming next week for debate. And it will be big because uh, we are sure that we'll be able to censure him, uh, of course, on grounds of his total inability and incompetence. The court has already directed the minority leader in the National Assembly, Francis Nyanza, to write to the Speaker, Justin Muturi, to retract the motion. It is not clear if it is dissent or mere confusion. All Kenyans, I'm sure you and I will agree that uh, the situation in the country in terms of security is very bad. Olelenku is in the eye of a storm following the insecurity incidents in Lamu areas of Mpeketoni and Witu and the killings in Wajir and the raids in Baringo. In the latest incident, the Interior Ministry announced on their Twitter handle that 13 people had been arrested in Kiunga, suspected to have been planning to attack Witu, Kipini, Marereni and Garsen. But less than three hours later, police chiefs leading their security operations in Peketoni denied any knowledge of any arrests. Ben Kitili, KTN.